a, a serious, what, what is it, um, tape on it, you know. And ensure that everything was up to scratch in terms of the accuracy and the precision of that booth. So we want to really give these folks that put all these things together a big round of applause. Wouldn't you say that? Good. Now, the Williams Family Reunion has been in the making, as the chairman mentioned, for a little while. But I want to say to you all, welcome, 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 welcome one and all. Friends, families, friends, relatives, and all. We want to tell you that we appreciate you being here. Because if, guess what? If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be able to have a family reunion. Maybe we could have it by ourselves, of course, but that would be a little bit selfish, isn't it? So we're glad to have you. And we appreciate a lot that you have really taken up the offer to be here. And it's a mark of respect. And we appreciate that a lot. For some of us, this is pretty new to others. It is a door to be introduced and to be connected. Would you be um, aware that some of our families that are here don't know each other? <laughs> yes, it's true. So we pass each other on the road and don't even know who we are. So that is very important for us to be here. So whatever your feelings are, misgivings, points of view are, we are here today on this very special occasion to embrace the warm company of each other. And so, why not celebrate this with us? Yes, with the Williams family. We are here today to ensure that you celebrate with us on this special occasion. To get to know our roots. Who know the year when Aja came to Jamaica? Who know in the audience? Anybody knows? Aja? Who is Aja? Aja, his name is Tasalda Hussein. Tasalda Hussein. And um, he is our grandfather. So he's a very special man to us too. He came in Jamaica in 1907 on the ship by the name of Blondel with his mother and his stepfather and his brother Ali. They came and they were indeed on the sugar plantation for a while. So, what was Arjun's real name? Indian name, well, I've just mentioned it. What is his English name? Anybody know that? James, James, James Williams. Williams. James Williams. Look who say, you know who is that man walking behind me? <laughs> that is Roy Del Sullivan, our big brother-in-law. Let us give him a hand for that, he's very correct. <laughs> right. So we love to move right into our program. We'll be setting up a projector. Let me explain something to you. We'll be, be setting up a projector that will be featuring some old pictures, some new pictures of different family members. And um, you don't have to really be distracted so much by it. We'll be playing the background or foreground, if you want to call it. And as the program goes on, you can look at the pictures from time to time and be reminded of some of these important events. Some of us are in the picture that is in, the, in this audience. Some of us might know people in the picture. So we are asking you to feel comfortable with that. So that will be running very shortly. And also we are happy that we could have everyone on board. It is said that you can choose your friend, but you cannot choose who? Family. Your family. So whether they are good, are bad, are fat, or a mother, guess what? They are your family. family. And that is what counts, isn't it so? Yes. So we want to clap yourself for that, because you are correct. Okay, so we want to be proud to be a part of our family, isn't it so? So each of us have a different point of view. Okay, so without further ado, we will love to take the first part of the program. You notice some of your table might have a program. Um, we will be looking into the, the Williams family history. I will just I'll touch on a little bit of it. But let me get into it just a little bit more detail. Um, if you want to matter. Well, on about 1907, a little boy at the age of seven was traveling from India to the West Indies to seek a better life, he and his mother and father.
to Jamaica. The ship we mentioned already, the ship's name is the Blondale. His mother, we, well, we know her as Ma Patu. I don't know if you know otherwise. Karantula. And Karantula. Right. So that is also there. I've been corrected by one of the eldest members of the family now. Here. His name is Moses. Uncle Moses? Well, interestingly, Ajas did this boy's their Muslim name, but they have English name also. His name is Moses, but his real name in Hindustani is, well, our Arabic is Musa. Musa Hussein. Please start from the That's him. Oh, all the young folks, 77. 77 and going strong. He jumps every morning. Four miles. Four miles. Four miles. Four miles. And that's why he's an old cricketer too. Can hit the ball very hard. Right. So he grew up around my grandfather, Aja. He grew up around the estate. And, um, well, he aspired to be a headman on the sugar plantation, which was he had an arranged marriage with Aji. And this union produced five children. Hilda, Oscar, Joseph, Matilda, Perlita, Moses. Pardon me for calling by your first name. <laughs> and over that time, we'll not have one by the name of Perlita take exception. <laughs> She'll have my head for it after I'm finished. Uh, please keep quiet here, don't say anything at this. I'll correct you later. <laughs> right. Yes, Uncle. Where are going? If you don't want when. What did you, know? you you like to come forward? Yes. 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 <laughs> He's gonna correct me now, so I'm I'm up to correction. Yeah. Good evening everybody. Good evening. Uh, some some people might want to know how we hell we get the name. William. When when daddy was going to Cuba at the name of Casado Hussein, they couldn't spell his name in Kingston. So they gave him James Williams. So when he went to Cuba and farm working, and when he was when he came back to Jamaica, he did not take back his Indian name. He came and married into the name James William. Our mother's name was Mary Jackson, and then from Mary Jackson to Mary William. That's how we get the name William. So that now my name is William. So it should be the Hussein's family reunion. What do you have to say about that? Thank you. All right. All right. So you know your roots then. So we are not really Williams, you know. We are Hussein. Not related to Saddam Hussein. With respect to Mr. Hussein. So you have to be afraid of all of my Muslim colleagues that just walk inside here. They are our brothers too. And oh, Hussein. Alright. Ah, uh, different spelling. See? You see that? H-U-S-S-E-N. Jose Uncle, thank you very much for those finer points. So as we go through, I'll brief you a little bit more on what took place. Interestingly, life is a never-ending story, isn't it? And so is our family. We have truly missed those of our family members, that loved ones that have gone ahead of us in death. And um, they are really the ones that really keep the family going. That is Daddy, Uncle, Chuku, and all the rest of the clan. They keep the family going. So it is necessary for us, as their offspring, to try our best to see if we can emulate their food set. Don't you think so? It's a good thing. A lot of people don't like families sometimes, you know, because the families, they say that, well, some might have misgivings about families. But guess what? You cannot change it, because it is given to us, isn't it so? So we welcome our families. You know, we don't mind if they are rich or poor or fuck our slim or whatever. We love our family, so we want to really acknowledge that. So, it is necessary for us, as your offspring, to try our best to see if we can emulate their footsteps that they have made on the sands of time. There is no perfect individuals, so there is absolutely no perfect family. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. So, that is a point that we need to consider. So, we have our differences, we have our disagreements, we have challenges, but equally true is the fact that all of us will have the power, the courage to face the odds and come out as a phoenix. You know what's a phoenix? It says a bird that comes through fire. I never see a bird like that, but it's an expression that is used to show you can endure a lot of pressure and, and, and still come out successful. 
All of us though, stand pro. All of us that are here, stand pro. Courageous and resolute as the Hussein Williams family. We are not afraid of what anyone, what they have to say, but what we know, be it resolved, that all for one and one for all. What do you say about that? All right, so that's so much for me for now. We're right to go into a program. Uh, I think your presentation announced by Jessica. Is she here? Jessica? Yeah, she's here. <laughs>